Hey everyone, I have been playing a bunch more Skyrim, so first off I'm going to tell what I learned about Dragon Souls, uh, which I mentioned in the last video, and they are used to do shouts, which are pretty much just like using magic, um, and I can't use any good ones yet. I can use one that like pushes people back, but it's got a pretty long recharge time, and it's not very good. And so in this video right now, I'm just becoming a werewolf, which was sort of surprising to me because it's like right in the beginning of the game. I didn't really expect to have this happen quite yet, but I don't know, it seems alright. I'm actually not sure how to switch into the werewolf mode normally, but um, that's alright because I don't really need it anyway. It is nice to be a werewolf because you don't get any diseases, so... Yeah, I remember that used to be a bother in Morrowind, but that's not if you're a werewolf. And this is a clip that I um, that I tried out when I first started, uh, when I made the first video, but I never managed to put the clip in the first video. So this is just what happens when <laughs> when um, you get smacked by a giant. For some reason, you just fly way up into the air. This is a quest. Uh, I think it's a bounty that I'm doing just to kill some bandit leader. And as you can see, I'm mining here. There are little veins of ore all over. It's really nice for mining. Uh, much better than how RuneScape works, I think. It's, I don't know, it's sort of like how shooting Star Wars work. You just find a random ore um, rather than going to an actual mine and grinding away there. Let's see. So, uh, besides that, I haven't really done all that much. I've done a bunch of little mini quests. Uh, I managed to get this spell book for transmuting iron ore into silver ore and then silver ore into gold ore, so I made a lot of money off of that. I bought a house in um, White Whiterun, I think is the name of the town, and uh, upgraded it a bit, so I've put a lot of my stuff in there because, yeah, I was getting really overburdened. I really like how the bookshelves work in Skyrim as well, because they actually stack your books for you. In Morrowind, you had to download a mod in order to do that. I also just got the ice belt today. I was using shock instead of ice before, um, but the ice one, it lowers their stamina, which Stamina is used when you're swinging a weapon. Uh, it's pretty much like your ma your magic points, except for melee. Uh, so if you drain that with the frost spells, then uh, they can't really melee very well. Oh, and look, here's a dragon. So I'm going to uh, stop talking for a bit. I'll just mention that I'm I've got another video that I'm going to be uploading right after this one, which shows me killing my first frost dragon as well. And besides that, I just went to the Mage College in Winterhold, so that'll be my next video after that. Probably coming out tomorrow. So enjoy this fight with a fire breathing dragon.